Hey there everyone, welcome to Pilot School. Let's take a look at all of Titanfall's Grenadier class weapons, how to use them, and how to be as effective as possible with them. Let's get started. First up, we have the SMR, the Return of the Sidewinder. This weapon fires dumb fire micro missiles at a very high rate of fire. They don't have very much splash damage, but they do deal significant damage on a direct impact. This weapon is surprisingly effective against pilots at close range, but falls off rapidly at longer ranges due to the random spread of the rockets and the relatively slow travel time. Luckily, enemy titans are huge targets, and a little bit of spread isn't going to stop you from laying into them even at longer ranges with this weapon. While it's not as effective as an anti-titan weapon at killing titans, that's kind of the whole theme of the Grenadier class in general. The Sidewinder, along with these other weapons that we're going to be learning about shortly, are useful versus all enemy threats, but are not optimized for any one application for the most part. So you want to do your best to land critical hits against them when using this weapon, and keep it for modes like Attrition, Bounty Hunt, or LTS. It'll be at its strongest in these modes, so focus on using it there. Next up we have the EPG-1, firing single, large projectiles with slow travel time at a low rate of fire. It makes up for these shortcomings with very high damage and good area of effect damage. Combined with the Gravity Star, this weapon can allow you to bend shots around corners or simply force groups of enemies to eat all the damage that you're spitting out of this weapon. I find it to be the most effective versus enemy pilots and minions, and just plain fun to use when you consider the way you can bend engagements combining this weapon with the Gravity Star. Let's switch over to the Softball, which has quickly proven to be a personal favorite of mine. This grenade launcher fires sticky grenades that detonate on a short timer. Direct hits on pilots will kill them in one shot, and splash damage will often kill them in one or two near misses. Projectile speed is rather quick, so you can very reliably land direct hits on enemy pilots with this weapon. This has got to be one of the best minion killing weapons in the entire game. It's really hard to kill large numbers of minions as quickly as a softball user can. Combined with a fire star, you'll be gaining a very early lead for your team in bounty hunt on both the money count and your personal titan timer. Play smart with this weapon to dominate the early game. Finally, we have the Cold War. This thing has one purpose and one purpose alone, and that's to annihilate enemy pilots. With each trigger pull, you incur a short wind-up time before firing a 4 projectile burst. Projectile speed overall is good, and your AoE is also good. Combined with amped weapons, or just really good aim without it, you'll be killing pilots with each burst of this weapon pretty consistently. Used by a highly mobile player able to rain down death from above, it's no easy task to take down a Cold War user before they splash you to death. Keep in mind, this weapon struggles against minions and titans in a lot of cases, at least in comparison to some of the other Grenadier tier weapons. Focusing on the Cold War means you're okay with sacrificing some versatility in order to really focus on killing enemy pilots. That's not wrong, just make sure you know what you're signing up for. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you've all learned something new. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.